and Nina. Nice I love you guys. Elliot, Nina. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Welcome, welcome to my uh, TikTok room. That <laughs> yeah, looks familiar. Yeah, yeah. Recognize that. Recognize that room a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You're in it. You're in a TikTok right now. <laughs> awesome. Exciting. Yeah. So we are here at the cookout. Always getting to hang out with your favorite artists and our special guest today that's been invited. We got Jax in the Hi, building. <laughs> Hi guys. What's Hi, going on? welcome. Now we only got one rule since this is your first time. You do have to bring a dish. So what is your favorite food that you want to bring to the cookout? Like if to you a have, cookout. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, maybe yeah. you have a specialty that you make and it doesn't have to just be that kind of food. It can be anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm like the cheese guy. Like I feel like everybody always like I bring charcuterie. Okay. Like I'll bring like uh, like prosciutto and salami and cheese, but like my my signature go to be like people that make fun of me here is that I always no matter what the event is bring cut up fresh mozzarella and like tomatoes. Oh it's yes, because <laughs> that's people go for it. This, we love you can't it. Always be eating cheese unless you're like lactose intolerant, I think. <laughs> right? Or <Which> vegan. <laughs> I know, right? Actually, you know what? It's just like not a very inclusive dish. At all. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a vegan, vegetarian, lactose intolerant, but you know, I'm the charcuterie. I I, I grew up uh, in New York and Jersey. My parents are. I got like the Jewish side, the Italian side. They everybody just like loves charcuterie. It's like Italian is cheese and, and pasta. <laughs> you can't go wrong with yeah. any of those things. The gabagool. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, it's so fun to see you, Jax, here with us because we're celebrating your new song called Victoria's Secret. Mm -hmm. And before we get into talking about the song, if you don't follow Jax on TikTok, mm. you need to just go and do that right now. Absolutely. Um, she said it before the interview started. We're in her TikTok room right <laughs> now. Yeah, this, this is it. <laughs> it's like funny, like we've moved from place to place. And um, I think like we didn't want to lose the energy of the original backdrop of TikTok. So we keep bringing this thing like it's just games and photos and, and whatever it is, the OG TikTok background, no yeah. matter where we go, we bring it and it's very cheap. It's like falling apart. It was, it, <laughs> I think the whole setup maybe cost me $30 and like, nice. you, know, Morgan. you know, home goods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be yeah. There for hours. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I just like, I avoided it at all costs because I spent too much money there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easy to do. Yeah. Um, but speaking of that, I think something that's really cool about you is that not only are you writing all these songs, but you're really great at telling stories and sharing your life that way. Thanks. And you've had me in tears multiple times for multiple <laughs> reasons. But one video that you posted in particular that I wanted to bring up was the song that you wrote for your parents. Yeah. Oh my They're god. Here actually, like they they sensed that I was. Uh, everything happened really quickly this week with my song now, so they like felt the stress they actually recently sold their house and bought a trailer so they've just been traveling the country like oh just God. living that reliving their honeymoon round two and so they were like you know what we're skipping yellowstone and we're coming straight to you so they like blew through yellowstone drove to la from new york to la and they're here in the other room right now vegging out with my dog but um they <laughs> are my i wrote a song about them that about the most epic romance I know, which is the two of them, which they used to gross me out and now they don't. So. <laughs> <laughs> now I want that in my life, but yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Well, you answered my question before I asked. So I was just gonna say, how are they handling all of this attention? Oh. But they came straight to you. That's why. They're, they're always my biggest cheerleaders and so they need to be here to support. They're like, what can we do to help? I was like, honestly, you can help me with my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's all I need. <laughs> or, you know, mom, if you want to cook, like yeah. you're, you're the OG, like, uh, she makes my comfort foods, pizza rolls. So, oh, <laughs> like, sure. And yeah. it's always better when mom makes it too. Yeah. Oh, we make God, the same yeah. things, but when mom, she's got the magic touch somehow. There's oh, something right. different about when she makes it, even though how it smells, there's something different about it. So <laughs> yes, just the support. They're always supportive. The two of them. Well, so. lucky to have that. Um, yeah. But yeah, the song is blowing up all over the. Oh, oh, the place, oh, no. You know, it's 16 million views on TikTok. Oh, we freeze. Ah, what? It's, what happened? Ah, you it's, sorry, you're back now. Uh, oh, did we freeze? Yeah, you froze. I don't I'm know sorry. if you froze for everybody else. Maybe just me, but. Yeah. I think on the song is where it froze. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, the song blowing up all over the place. You know, it's getting 16 million views. Uh, Cracks the Hot 100 on Billboard. Um, but for those who don't know the story about Victoria's Secret, kind of tell everybody 
how it came to be and where you got the inspiration from. Um, I, there's a kid I babysit. Her name's Chelsea. She's always telling me about, um, you know, the things she's experiencing in school. She's like 12 years old and she, um, was ranting to me one day and it was a, a whole mess about a pool party and how she felt and somebody called her fat and flat and I wanted to, it really, really irked me because when I was Chelsea's age, I feel like that's when a lot of my eating issues and, and body issues started. Um, you wouldn't think it starts that young because I don't know, you just think everybody's a kid, but for girls, I think it starts really, really young, especially girls like who were born in late 90s, early 2000s, experienced a whole other type of media um, of just kind of getting one body type. And we only really had access to one, and that was the one we were supposed to want to have, you know? Like, mm -hmm. we, I fought for my thigh gap. My friends and I would race to see who can get a <laughs> thigh gap first, and it was, like, actually pretty twisted. And yeah. so now I'm 26, and I have a hard time some days more than others looking in the mirror and loving my body. And I didn't want Chelsea to end up there. I didn't want her friends to end up there. It's not necessarily because I felt like I needed to spearhead some sort of a movement because um, I really don't feel like emotionally in that place yet. <laughs> but I did feel like I was I had a responsibility to talk about it. And hopefully we could avoid that situation in our next generation of, you know, young kids and feeling that way and not ending up where I am right now. So I hope it's working. I've, I've been getting a lot of like DMs from parents and that's the really cool part about this whole thing is that seeing that parents are reaching out saying thank you for this makes me feel a lot better because <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, that was the point, I guess. So mm -hmm. it's a little nerve wracking, you know, um, but I think the ultimate goal was to make sure that young girls it comes from within and they feel good about themselves and they love their bodies and they don't have to compare themselves to what they see on their Instagram feed or in the media or on billboards. And that was really the, the goal here. So I love it. I think with anything, once you crack it open and the more you talk about it, the more things can slowly become normalized. Even, you know, Chelsea's 12 or you have women in their twenties and yeah. 30s. And, you know, as you get older, we all need to hear it all the time. And even men too. So oh my gosh, men, I've been getting DMs from men too, being like you, I've been, it's even sometimes harder because like you, men are expected to be this like, you know, like don't feel anything. And you, we don't even know half of it sometimes because they, there's an expectation of like masculinity that they don't talk about how they feel about their body. So that's another thing. Totally. totally. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, Back to Chelsea really fast. Yeah, what yeah. <laughs> what happened with the bully? Did oh, she, she I like, mean, there's a there's a million of. I first of all, I have no idea. She's in camp. She's in summer camp, and oh, she okay. has no phone. So I don't. She doesn't even realize the songs on the radio. Oh my unless, god! Unless she hears it in camp, like yeah. wow. she has no cell phone. So like her iPhone, she has nothing. So uh, she's coming back in two days. So maybe I'll surprise her at the airport or something. But yeah, yeah. Like, she has no idea. She she made such an impact um, on kids her age, and I think it's like. It's cool. I have, I'm having, I never had a sister, so I've been having a lot of older sister moments with her and a bunch of kids on TikTok as well. So this has been like the coolest, probably the coolest experience I've ever had in my life. But oh gosh, a little nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie. It makes me a little nervous because you know, you feel like if you're, if you're not in this like huge confident place, it feels awkward almost to like fill the shoes of this, you know, catness body thing, you know, and I'm like, as long as the kids are getting it and I'm planting a little seed and they second guess what they see on a billboard, you know, and they think, oh, wait, actually, I don't even care about that. I just, I feel good now, you know, that's yeah. all that matters to me. So, but it's also a process though. So yeah. I don't think anybody expects you to be perfect and all the way there yet. You're just starting Hopefully. to express what it is, that you're <laughs> feeling, you know, and, and that's what, you know, your music is. And just Thanks. even on that topic of you bringing other kids on your TikTok and using your platform to discuss yeah. so many different things, whether you're ready to or not, you're doing it through song. So where are you finding people like, again, if you don't follow her, you'll see and meet the people that she introduces us to there, like Kaylee, who happens to be in a wheelchair Kay. or Campbell, who you wrote a song with, who, you know, was singing about autism as her superpower. I mean, this is a lot of stuff people don't yeah. talk about regularly. I, I feel like finally I have a chance to talk about things that I've always thought about my whole life. So why not? I, I feel like I it's really nice to be able to share the platform. The platform kind of happened overnight for me. It's like 11 million followers out of nowhere. Um, obviously, I've been writing songs forever, but this is something different now at this point. I figure if I have it, I got to use it. <laughs> I got to like feature people that need the platform more than I do. Um, and I've always been a really big advocate for 
the neurodivergent community and the autism community and they don't have much of a voice over there so Campbell happened to be one of my most epic TikToks I've ever done. I have a lot of kids coming in and out here because I like I'm, a, I'm feeling a little maternal. I feel like I'm feeling the body clock tick a little bit at 26, oh, wow. so I'm like a little mommy energy. I'm like, come on, children, I'm the babysitter now. But I, uh, <laughs> yeah, Campbell was something different. Honestly, I find these kids um, in my feed because I'm like, uh, I'm a, I love TikTok just as a user on the app. So uh -huh. I'm always my for you page. I'm always like, if something will come up I'm like, oh my God, I gotta get this person on my TikTok. So I'll just comment and harass people until they answer. <laughs> like, hey, I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. You wanna come over? And eventually like some people answer, Campbell being one of them. We like saw Campbell on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, we gotta get this girl in here. And she happened to be, she is like, she she's autistic, but she's also like uh, one of the most, empathetic people I've ever met in my life like she feels everything in the room she is so speedy she was the first person to ever come in here and really intimidate me when it came to learning the song because she learned it so fast <laughs> that I didn't learn it and she's still a kid she's still a little kid so she was like oh you know like why are we doing this this is annoying I just I already learned it can we get out of here you know kind of thing I'm like oh my gosh Campbell please please I'm begging you just bear with me I know you're much faster than I am but it was the first time because normally I'm like I write songs I get it quick you know mm -hmm. this kid got it in one shot wow, wow. Like, oh god I'm like no pressure just come on Jax pull it together <laughs> like Seriously, that was very, really cool experiences. I get to meet everybody I like love, everybody that inspires me. This house has just been, it's been a beautiful mess, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> walking the talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but there's one person we need to know if you met, because you said you met a lot of people through TikTok. You got a bunch of followers overnight. <laughs> we saw the video of you crying after two surgery when you hit 10 million followers. And you were wondering if you're <laughs> no. friends with Selena Gomez. Oh, yeah. we just want to know, did you, did you guys end up meeting or get Taco Bell pizza? What, uh, what happened? I wish. No, but she <laughs> did. But she did reply to right. the video. She did comment and say, I adore you, which I was like screaming around the house. I'm so embarrassed, too, because I was on so much. Like, I think it was it wasn't even Novocaine. It was anesthesia. It was like a big surgery. Mm -hmm. So I get really emotional on anesthesia and cry about everything. I don't know why Selena Gomez was on the brain. Yeah. She just like happened to be on my mind when you think of like fame I guess when you're on anesthesia I just assume my life would be me and Selena Gomez skipping through a meadow together <laughs> um but yeah she commented <laughs> it was really sweet but one day one day I feel one like we day. would be really good friends for sure <laughs> yeah I think yeah. it's a dream for all of us we all want to be friends with, with Selena, Selena Gomez. Gomez come on Selena let's be friends like let's get the crew together we'll go grab a beer <laughs> yeah cover the TikTok room it's cool yeah we'll just hang out and sit around <laughs> I don't know what her hobbies are but <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to do so we got music we'll common so yeah that's what we do we do music and that's cool <laughs> yeah um, we also do something around here called life hacks and facts and it just happens to go perfect with you life hacks and facts with Jax. hey so, bars um, bars that, that was all him that was all elliot I mean, credit for that elliot wow yeah <laughs> Um, but it's when we ask you if there's any life hacks that you live by, maybe it's a beauty hack, maybe it's a sleep hack, songwriting mm. hack, mm. absolutely anything. Oh man. Um, that's a really good question. Uh, life hacks, life hacks. There's gotta be a few, right? And I'm just, they don't come to mind. Um, I, I have a, we, like a deeper life hack. Like when I go into a, a studio session and I write with other girls, cause I find that in music especially in LA it's really girls get really competitive out here um and it's just like a weird natural thing and it's not even like necessarily our fault I think a lot of times we're pinned up against each other in music mm -hmm. um so I like make sure every time my life hack as a songwriter is to go in and like knock that energy out of the room right away and break the ice and mm -hmm. like be like hey no competitive energy. I like, I actually didn't shower for three days. I'm here. Like I didn't, I didn't shave. I'm here. Like I'm not here to compete in any kind of like weird girly way. Like, let's just like, make sure we do this together. So that was my life hack as a songwriter is I talk about it right when I get in the room to make sure there's no competition whatsoever. Yeah, set the vibe, set the <laughs> energy each other right, up. Yeah. right out the gate. Anybody yeah, yeah. Too. And any kind of room that you're any in. Any room. Yeah, yeah. Any Supporting room, really. I love Supporting. That. Imagine how unstoppable like girls are going to be when we Ooh. just like when we stop, stop competing. Giving up. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we're gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. starting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, true. Now we we heard you got a little a little a little present for us, a little treat. Like you're gonna do a, a slight performance or something. I can sing for you guys if you want to hear my new song, Ooh. Victoria's Secret. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to disappear, so it's only you on the screen while mm-hmm. you do this, but we are watching. Oh. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Jax, and this is my song, Victoria's Secret. <clears throat> God, I wish somebody would have told me when I was younger that all bodies aren't the same. Photoshop, bitty bitty models on magazine covers. Told me I was overweight, I stopped eating, what a bummer Can't have carbs in a hot girl summer If I could go back and tell myself when I was younger I'd say, psst, I know Victoria's Secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's Secret She was made up by a dude Oh, she was made up by a dude A dude Victoria was made up by a dude I wish somebody would have told me that of thunder met normal human thighs and all the pressure I was under to lose my appetite and fight the cellulite with hunger games like every night if I could go back and tell myself when I was younger I'd say hey dummy I know Victoria's secret and girl you She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's Secret What is it? She was made up by a dude Dude Victoria was made up by a dude Victoria was made up by I know Victoria's secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's secret she was never made for me and you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> thank, so you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you so much. That was yeah, thank fun. you so much for stopping by the cookout. We wish you nothing but the best, and we'll keep looking for all your TikToks. Thank Absolutely. you. Thanks for giving me a shot. And next time I see you guys, I'm going to bring all of the charcuterie and the mozzarella and the cheese. For yes, the you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 Bye. 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 Bye.